ride time. I'm just parked right next to the sign on. Oh, the beginning. It's bloody cold, showing minus one. For me, that's horrendous. Sorry to everyone who enjoys real cold temperatures. We need a photo because you need to capture the moment. Got my coffee in a paper cup. I was all chuffed because I bought an espresso machine with me. But then I don't have 240 volt power at this particular location, so. Eight cup of years. So far, the biggest challenge has been figuring out where. But I think I've been assisted by the fact that I don't know if it's going to warm up a great deal today. But um, the sun is shining, the wind is abated, so life's pretty good. I'm looking forward to this ride. Although I have to say, I sort of did wake every hour thinking, is it, is it time to get up? Is it time to get up? Is it time to get up? But I was very, very comfortable. And uh, although it was uh, in the negatives out at the winery, I, I wasn't cold in the, in the evening, so I thought it was pretty good. Early night, early start, sun's up, time to go. The point being minus two, rolling, and uh, I don't like this sort of temperature, but it's a, it's pretty festive in a subdued, cold kind of way. But uh, rolling out of orange, and I'll feel more when I'm not in quite such a suburban setting. Ominous. Oh, and You right? Yeah. Um, 27 kilometers in, 53 minutes. And uh, I haven't gotten over zero degrees yet, but um, I haven't filmed a great deal either because it's been very scenic, but undulating, beautiful, beautiful riding country. And um, the wind of yesterday, gone. Yippee-i-yo, that's a good start, isn't it? There was already a rest stop, so I just popped in some electrolytes. Let's have a taste. Ooh, ooh, lemon and lime. And um, we'll see how we go. I do have a chocolate brownie in my pocket. Too early. I've just realised this is my first little pedal with the 32 mils with the Goodyear Eagle F1 on the test bike, the review bike, the Polygon Helios A9X and bloody fantastic. Heaps of clearance, super comfy and 56 psi front and rear just randomly.
You ever seen a pig in a, in a front yard? I hope that shows up. Otherwise, what I just said doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, so the, I was gonna say near the halfway mark, it's not, it's near the 100 kilometer go, to go mark, 69.9 kilometers. Uh, and um, up to four degrees, so, you know, toasty and warm. The booty covers have gone, the long finger gloves have been replaced and the uh, head sock vanished. I felt like I was pedalling in a potato sack because of all of that. Well, you know what I mean. You've ridden a bike in lots of clothing, probably a lot more than I do. But uh, when I do, I don't like it. But I have enjoyed this ride immensely already. There's still a, way, a fair way to go. But uh, my eyes are wide open. I've seen a, seen a giant rusty peg in the front yard. I've never seen that before. And I'm just looking to my right, not seeing that homestead. And now you have two, so terrific. And um, yeah, whatever. Had a chat with Dom, he's a nice guy, he's there. I said, uh, thanks for the chat, mate, that I'm just gonna talk to myself for a little while. Uh, he's from Camden. He's just been in for, into this bike riding caper for the last six months and he likes it. And his wife's in for two, so she likes it. So life's good for that family. Top up. And I may have stashed some clothing here. Shh, don't tell anyone. I've just got to remember what it is. Canawindra. Canawindra, is that how you say it? Okay. I just stashed some clothes there, so I'll come back later. I was confused. I saw a sign similar to this on the entrance to town and I thought, ages of fish museum. And then thankfully the person next to me said, yeah, I'm from around here. It's to do with fossils. So I've got to come back to uh, Kanawindra because it's a historic town with an ages of fish museum. I can't really not do that. So I'll be back. That'll be fun. Good news for me, smooth, smooth bitumen. Hasn't always been, but it is right here in Canawindra. So I don't record that. Floodway, cycling hazard. uphill but tailwind slightly tail breeze and 100k in almost 1400 meters of climbing 10 degrees and a good vibe and great traffic management and generally great way to spend a sunday
Uh, I think this is lunch. It could be. But uh, I have, in case you haven't figured it out, I haven't looked at any detail of this and now I'm uh, closing in. Rest area and lunch straight ahead if I want it. So I do. I'm going. Good. Yum. I need this. Uh, cows and wind farms and rolling undulating hills that seem to go on forever and ever. But, uh, you know, I knew what I was in for, but you understand? afternoon light is <laughs> I've got nothing I'm actually really quite tired now lovely friendly uh, well catered super volunteers the best um, and, and generally a nice vibe and well not a lot of traffic to manage so great job with traffic management but also great job with traffic <laughs> uh from here i'm just gonna let the pictures tell a story oh, yeah uh, i'm tired That's 32k an hour, 36, 40, 45, so that 45k an hour, he was motoring that thing, did you see that? I hope that showed up. I'm pretty tired but they say the last 20k is downhill. So, phew, he's wiping sweat from his brow that he can't quite get to. Um, see the kangaroo, that was cool. See the, yeah, scenery, that's cool. I'll tell you more when I'm not so tired, okay? Great event, do it. Yeah. Thank you.